Oil production is a complex process that involves several steps and requires advanced machinery and technology. Let's take a look at how oil is extracted and refined. Oil is not only the primary fuel, but it also provides 50% of the energy we need. Petrochemical derivatives are also essential for most everyday products, such as plastics, asphalt, tires, cosmetics, and pharmaceuticals. The sticky, smelly, black liquid you're seeing is crude oil, which is the raw material for making gasoline. Oil is found deep within the earth. Tens of millions of years ago, plants and tiny marine creatures died, and their remains fell into the seedbeds and became covered with sediments. Over centuries, this mass of organic material underwent a chemical transformation due to heat and pressure. After 250 million years, it became one of the most important sources of energy in the world. This is one of the most powerful places in the world. The oil industry in the United States is located in Texas. Since its beginnings in 1901, nearly 60 billion barrels of oil have been extracted. And if the oil companies have calculated correctly, there are still around 10 billion barrels to be extracted. Oil drilling begins with the establishment of an oil rig. The drilling team sets up the rig, which consists of a tall structure equipped with a drilling mechanism. The drilling process involves using a rotary bit attached to a long drill pipe. The bit rotates at a high speed, cutting through rock formations deep below the surface of the earth. To keep the drilling bit cool and lubricated, a special fluid called drilling mud is used. The mud is pumped down through the drill pipe, and it flows out through small openings in the drilling bit, forming a slurry that carries away the rock cuttings. This work is noisy and highly dangerous. The drill pressure must be carefully regulated too low, and it won't be able to cut through the rock too high, and it could break. There is also a risk of gas emissions that could lead to catastrophic explosions. As they drill, the team must constantly add sections of drill pipe using an automatic 5-ton wrench. Since the drill advances at a speed of 5 meters per hour, this arduous task needs to be repeated every 24 hours. If they're lucky, they will eventually strike oil. Initially, the trapped oil's pressure causes it to flow through small openings into the pipe and rise to the surface. However, this natural pressure doesn't last forever. To maintain a continuous flow of oil, a deep well plunger pump is used. The circular motion of the motor is converted into vertical motion, and like a giant metal syringe, it draws up oil to the surface. The fluid from each well is extracted through a pipe, and all the well pipes feed into a main line that leads to a gas disposal facility. The fluid contains carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and natural gas, which need to be extracted. These pumps serve to collect the black gold of Texas. However, these oil fields are far from where the oil is needed, so a series of pumps transport it through a pipeline on a thousand-kilometer journey to its destination. This is the largest oil refinery in the United States, with over 8,000 kilometers of metal pipes covering 10 square kilometers. This plant can refine more than 562,000 barrels of crude oil per day. The noise is so deafening that the 4,000 plant workers use over a million air protectors per year. This place is so vast that it not only processes oil from Texas but also refines oil from around the world. Crude oil contains a mixture of hydrocarbons, each with a different number of carbon atoms. These hydrocarbons have different weights, propane being the lightest, while the heavier ones are used to produce asphalt. The equipment is responsible for removing and treating hydrogen sulfide, converting it into sulfur that a local farm purchases for use as fertilizer. After heating the oil to over 370 degrees, it is pumped to the base of the tower, where it rises as vapor, similar to boiling water. As it cools, the molecules condense. The heavier asphalts settle at the bottom, while lighter molecules like gasoline and kerosene continue to rise until they also condense and can be extracted through a siphon. From every 191 barrels of crude oil, around 88 liters of gasoline, 48 liters of diesel fuel, approximately 26 liters of kerosene, almost 7 liters of propane, and 32 liters of other products such as lubricants and plastics are extracted. 
this plant produces enough gasoline for a car to make 770 round trips to the moon. The fuel is tested in an older engine to evaluate its knock resistance. Knocking occurs when the fuel spontaneously ignites upon compression in the engine cylinder. The data obtained in the laboratory is sent back to the refinery to correct any possible errors in the blend and ensure its perfection. The time comes to open some valves so that the gasoline flows through underground pipes until it reaches nearby terminals. From there, it is transferred to enormous tanker trucks. However, loading a tanker truck is more dangerous than filling up a car's gas tank. A mistake during the loading or unloading of the truck could lead to a serious explosion. The metal body of the truck can generate sparks due to static electricity, so the first thing done is to ground it with a cable and activate protection sensors against possible overfilling. A second pipe, known as a vapor recovery pipe, absorbs the emitted vapors to prevent them from dispersing into the atmosphere. Approximately 4 million liters of gasoline are transported to gas stations every day. After pouring the gasoline into the enormous tanks, it is ready for consumption. The next time you fill up your fuel tank and think about how expensive fuel is, remember the government and oil producers. If you want to continue learning about the manufacturing of various things, we invite you to subscribe to this channel and enable notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might be interested.